<laughs> so hi everybody out there in Flasty Blend. This is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. It is 9.36 p.m. on Thursday, December 5th. Um, at It's Eastern Time and I'm in Columbus, Ohio. I'm sitting in my living room. My mom is across the way from me diamond painting on her um, Diamond Dots lantern, Christmas lantern um, diamond painting. Um, I can turn this other cam over. Oops, there she is. Sorry about that. She's working on her uh, diamond painting over there. So um, I have some updates for you tonight. So um, I've been doing a lot of um, planning and getting ready for um, 2020, some of my stitching plans for 2020. I've been working in my new passion planner that I showed you in my last video and um, just kind of been uh, getting some notes together for projects that I have planned out that I kind of want to get working on in 2020 for cross stitching. And I also have some diamond painting plans, but I'll get into that in my diamond painting video that I'm hoping to get done um, probably this weekend for you. But anyway, I have a lot of stitchy, a little bit of stitchy updates to share with you. And um, I don't have any specifics about any of the plans for 2020, but they include um, a lot of stitch alongs and some other um, things that I'm going to be involved in um, hopefully next year. And um, we'll kind of go from there. So the first thing that I kind of want to share with you is those of you that have been watching my videos for a while know that I have been working on the hands-on design year of celebrations um, kit patterns so we have the year hands-on design year of celebrations um, I have completed December so I will show it to you up here so here is December December is complete you guys so um, since December is complete, you'll have to bear with my camera. The camera is taking the green, which is uh, Envy by Weeks Day Works, and it's uh, kind of pretending like it's a green screen. It'll it, the, the camera's being a little weird. I think. anyway, but um, so I finished Hands On Design Year of Celebrations December. So that means that I have completed all twelve year of celebrations patterns for this kit or for this uh so um hands on design year of celebrations my pattern is a little worn the outside the outside thing is a little worn there's some um a little bit of writing on the inside of this but uh, keep watching my channel um because probably coming up here in another week or so I'm looking at doing a little giveaway um, to pass the stash on my hands-on design year of celebrations since I have finished all 12. Um, I don't have all 12 to show you, um, but hold on just a minute. Let me. I'm actually going to go get them all to show you. Hold on just a minute. <laughs> so hi there again. Um, it's me, and I'm back. So here is November's, um, November's design that I showed you in my last video. Um, so here is uh, January. Kind of put these out just a little bit so you can see them. Here is February. Here is March. Here is April. May. June, July, August, September, and October. So here is all 12. 
This is all 12 of my um, hands-on design year of celebrations kind of all scattered out for you. So I did finish the um, hands-on design year of celebrations. I still have to fully finish December. I'm hoping to have that fully finished this uh, this weekend and put on my um, my uh, metallic backing board that November is on. But yeah, that's all my hands-on design year of celebrations. I finished them all this year. Um, so that is a good thing. So that is the biggest update. I finished um, the hands-on design year of celebrations, I think uh, last night is when I finished them, when I finished December. So that is good. Um, so be watching my, um, my video or my videos coming up soon because I will be, I will be um, giving away my copy of the hands-on design year of celebrations because I no longer need it. Um, a couple things came in. Um, new haul. I got my, um, I think it's my second to last shipment of Picture This Plus uh, cross-stitch fabric from Crazy Annie Stitching. Um, the first piece is um, a piece called Sand, a color called Sand, and it's a very kind of light, lightly modeled, um, kind of, it's a, I'd say it's a bit of like a pale green color, but, uh, yep, so lightly modeled. This is uh, the colorway sand by Picture This Plus. I get 18 by 27 piece of 28, 28 count Lugana. Um, and then the second one is a very, very pretty orange yellow color. Bear with me just very, very pretty orange yellow color of um, a color called Midas very very pretty I, I have to find something to use this on look at this color isn't coming out as well in the camera but it's like very very orange yellow and it's really really pretty I really like a bag that is really pretty I don't know if getting it up close would do it any justice but it's uh, a lot more orange than it's coming up in the um, in the thing but this is called Midas I picture this plus. Again, this is an 18 by 27 piece of 28 count Lugana. Let me go ahead and get these back in their bags so I can keep the keep them clean. Alright. So yeah, that hands-on design year of celebration, getting the getting the last one done was a big accomplishment this year. Um, I don't have too many other finishes for cross stitch this year, um, except for that. That was like a really big project that I had on my plate, and uh, I'm really kind of glad that I have them all done. Um, it just it feels good to have something something like that finished. So now I can display um, the full year next year. So we have uh, the hands on design year celebrations, and we have my picture this plus. Um, I also, this week, got my Garon Tote & Bags Grime Guard of the Month shipment. Um, I don't know if I'll be continuing getting the Grime Guard of the Month through 2020, but uh, we shall see. Oh, this is cute! It's Christmassy. Aww. Wish I would open this before I finish the December. Um, again, this is from Garon Tote & Bags. I get the 11 by 11 Grime Guards from them. This is Santa Santa. Mmm. Love their grime guards. So this is so cute. It's Christmassy. Look at Santa. Look at the package. Look at the candies and the gingerbread guy. It's really cute. The Christmas tree, candy cane stockings. It's really cute. And it has the Garon Toten Bags 11 by 11 um, little tag on it. It's very cute mm, and it smells wonderful so thank you very much to Garon Toten Bags for a wonderful Christmas grime guard I think I'm going to be using it this month um, for my next project all right so that is really cute really cute I'll put that over here all right so 
in light of my finishing of the um, December um, year of celebrations, I started going through some of um, my um, whips that I have that I haven't seen in a while and also some of my projects because I partially in um, getting ready for um, 2020 and some of my stitching plans for 2020 I'm trying to decide what projects I want to work on and um, you know like what what kind of whips that I kind of want to keep on my radar and some new projects that I kind of want to start and um, so pulling out some of my old whips I found that I have quite a few like Christmassy kind of projects to work on. Since it's only the fifth of the month, um, the rest of this month I'm probably going to be working on several different um, Christmassy or winter themed projects um, to get me through um, the rest of 2019 and probably a little bit into 20, the beginning of 2020. Um, so you're going to see um, you're going to see some of my projects here. Oh, one of the, but before I get into those projects, um, Caroline Huff or Cal Caroline from Friday Off the Grid and Off the Grid Needle Arts, um, she, on her um, video, she does a weekly drawing on Mondays um, for different patterns and stuff that she has in her stash. And I happen to win one of her um, weekly drawings. So I won um, the Tiny Modernist Let It Snow and this came in the mail yesterday. So it's the Tiny Modernist Let It Snow and it, the stitch count on this is 59 high by 88 wide and it uses cross stitch and back stitch and it uses three colors of DMC or ink or floss. Um, so there's the information on the back. It's just a little teeny pamphlet really quick. Um, it uses, uh, I think it's just black Ada is what the model might be stitched on. But uh, really pretty colors, there's only three, there's only three colors, but it's, it's really pretty. So I have, um, I have this, it's new. Um, so this is going in my stash. This isn't something that I'm going to kit up and I'm going to start anytime soon or in the next like probably three or four weeks, but uh, this might go in into something for end of 2020 stitching. All right, so I've shown you my hands-on design year of celebrations finish um, and my whole set now of a hands-on design year of celebrations. And I've shown you my, um, my picture this plus fabric. And I've shown you my, um, my little win from um, Caroline from Friday Off the Grid or Off the Grid Needle Arts. Thank you, Caroline. I did get it. Um, anyway, I was going through my whips and um, looking at some things that I could work on. And there was some whips in there. Um, I'm also trying to get a whip list together so I can kind of know what whips I have and about where I was at on a couple of them. So one of the whips that I've had in my stash for a little while, ever since it came out, was... Um, a pattern by Mirabilia. It came as a kit and um, it is the Christmas Elf Fairy. So I had forgotten that I had started her back when I first got the kit and I pulled it out last night to take a look at it and I realized you guys I'm really close to a finish on this and I will show you. So here she is. So as you can see, um, I've done her face. I haven't done anything up here in her hat for the whisper. I also have not finished the whisper um, in her skirt down here. And I also have not stitched her hand nor the Christmas tree that she's holding right here. Um, I haven't done any of the back stitch and I also haven't done the beadings. So the only stitching that I have to finish actually is her hand and the Christmas tree. Then I have to add the whisper which goes in her hat. I will actually put this down here for you. But the whisper goes here in her hat and her hand and her Christmas tree come up here and there's whisper down here 
I also haven't done the back stitching in her wings and I also need to add the beads. So she is probably going to be finished in the next week or two. That is my goal is to finish her. Um, since she's so close. I didn't realize how close she was actually to being done. I thought I had a lot more work to do on her. Um, but uh, anyway, she is probably, hopefully, going to be a finish. This is one of my goals, to finish her before Christmas um, in a couple weeks. And I can actually probably, if I work on her this weekend, I could actually probably get her finished. I'm sorry I haven't ironed it, but um, I just kind of pulled these out last night to take a look at them. So uh, anyway, so that is one. It's the Mirabilia Christmas Elf Fairy. That's what I'm going to be working on um, next to try and finish um, before Christmas. I'd like to get at least one more Christmas finish done. All right. What else do I have over here? So another um, whip that um, I have in my stash. This was a free Christmas pattern. Um, from MLI, Lavender and Lace. Uh, this was released under the Lavender and Lace um, thing. It's the 2001 Free Angel. And yes, I can show it to you because it is a free pattern. Um, I forget what I'm stitching this on. I didn't mark it down in my pattern because this is like the second or third copy of the pattern that I've had. Um, for a while, my patterns and my my piece were separated. I don't even remember what co color fabric this is on, but I'm stitching it on kind of a dark fabric. And this is, this is what I've got stitched so far on her. So you can see, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can see her. Yeah, move that just a little bit. So you can see I have her face and her hands and most of her dress done. Um, I still have to do her hair and her wings and her outstretched hand here is holding a candle. And then I have to add all the, um, the braids, the crinic braids and the um, whisper to her as well, as well as the beads that, are, that go in her. But um, anyway, this is the uh, 2001 Free Angel from Marilyn Leavitt Emblem from Lavender and Lace. So you can see that. We'll move this back out so you can see that. It's the Free Christmas Angel from Lavender and Lace. And that's where, I, that's where I've gotten. You should still be able to get this from their website. It's uh, Told in a Garden or www.tiag.com. The information. Told in a Garden. All right. So this is going to be another piece that I'm going to work on um, between now and the end of the year. I'm fairly close to being done. Um, I can probably easy, very easily get this finished for, um, for Christmas as well. But, uh, so there's two pieces that I'm hoping to get finished um, very, very soon. So I can actually mark these off on my whip list for 2020. That'll be really nice if I can get them off my list. Um, alrighty, I got get that. So one of the other things, I like uh, collecting Diane Gravener designs. Um, she does a lot of Amish designs. One of the ones um, that I have in my stash that I've been wanting to start for a little while. I think I actually had this started at one point in time, but I've since lost it. And it's this. This is called, it's by Dan, Diane Gravener. This is called Home for the Holidays. And I will zoom in. It's called Home for the Holidays. And I have a piece of light blue. Um, this is even weave. I think this is just some even weaves, even weave that you can find at Michael's or Joann's. Um, so I'm just going to do this on this light blue even weave. Um, so that is going to be a uh, whip. 
I don't know if I'll start it before Christmas or not. I may, especially if I finish up the other two projects. Um, I may start this before Christmas and try and get it. Um, the only thing that kind of bothers me about this is um, looking at looking at the um, the actual piece. There's a lot of gray. Almost all of that, like the trees and the railings and the house, it's all in gray. So there's going to be a lot of gray. I'll probably get sick of gray by the time I finish with this. So that is um, that is one whip that. Um, I will hopefully either start this year or start in um, early 2020 to kind of go along with you know it being winter and everything like that. So if you like my project bags, my uh, really fancy schmancy project bags here. I didn't have too many project bags. I have a few from uh, Garon Tote bags, but not oh, too many. So just to show you too, here's a bag of some of the some of the winter themed whips that I pulled out to possibly start and work on. So in this bag here, this bag has some of my Mill Hill kits. Um, you saw this one. It's the uh, pumpkin. Where is it? Oh, you saw this one last time. It's the pumpkin. I didn't work on it. Um, in here, there's also uh, Wanda's Wands. I had started this with Carla being crafty when for her birthday sale when she was doing the black cat because there's a little there's a little cat there's a cat here in the window the little cats there in the window um, so I haven't worked on that since October um, you know some of the other things I have in here I have um there goes my necklace you have um, the Nativity Mill Hill Nativity trilogy. There's Joseph, and then there's um, Jesus in the manger. I don't know if I'm going to start these, um, but as you know, I've also been working on Mary. There's my progress on Mary so far. Um, I'm not going to take her out of the bag, but yeah, I still, I'm working on the beading on her right now. Um, but there's that. I have a couple of Santas and a couple of small other little things. Oh, there's another. Um, here on totem bag Um uh, oh, there's that too hmm, finding all kinds of stuff so I'm just trying to get a little reorganized also for 2020 um, so this is some of my mail holes um, for the winter um, I pulled out a couple of Erica Michaels um, things to work on this one is the Ebenezer's Blessing Silkberry Ebenezer's Blessing Silkberry Um, it comes with the 40 count gauze. I also have the uh, Gentle Art Schoolhouse Red. I have to get some of the other colors for it. But um, I'm really hoping to, um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this there. I'm really hoping to do this piece, this Christmas piece on the back. You're probably not going to be able to see that. But it says, I believe that Christmas has done me good and will do me good. God bless it. So yeah, there's Ebenezer's Blessing. And then this one is Defining Winter. I pretty much have all of the um, fancy flosses um, that I need, except for I think one now. Um, I went through, um, after I was done with my hands-on design last night, I went through and I uh, kind of verified that I had all the Weeks Dye Works um, things in here. And I do, um, you know, so. I am kind of kidding down some of my projects. Once I'm done with um, the fairy from Mirabilia, um, I can kit those down and pull those and just put all my uh, all my flosses, my weak style works and uh, gentle arts flosses away. Um, so here we have the um, the Ebenezer's um, Ebenezer's blessing and uh, defining winter. Ebenezer's Blessing and Defining Winter. There's a couple of projects that I'm hoping to start. Another one that I have that I actually bought sometime last, sometime I believe in early 2020, was Little House Needleworks Snow White. Don't worry about it. 
and don't correct me. So anyway, um, so this is Little House Needleworks. I picked 32 Count Lugana in Hydrangea um, for this. It's a purple. Um, so here is Hydrangea. The color's not coming out. Uh, the color's not coming out as purple on camera as it really is. It's kind of a really pretty lavender. Um, and the two flosses that I picked for it. Um, let's see. It doesn't tell me. Uh, it's just mainly stitched in a white. But I thought that Snowflake, Weeks Dye Works Snowflake, would go kind of pretty. Or uh, Purple Aster by Classic Color Works. So I'm probably going to end up stitching it in Snowflake because I just think with the... Um, the pinks and the like green green gray in it it's gonna really pop on the fabric this purple really pops too but I think the snowflake would work out best for this so that is um, another whip that I'm hopefully gonna start January and February unless I decide to start it in December So, those of you that have been watching my video for a little while too also know that um, my one of my oldest whips was the Joy to the World Bell Pull by Lori Birmingham. This is the Joy to the World Bell Pull by Lori Birmingham. Okay. Now I found the table runner um, because I had lost my pattern for it, but I found somebody that had the table runner pattern. I had the bell pull pattern. But I lost, I have the, um, see I have the original, the original cover to the kit because it came with the banding. Um, and I have the legend sheet, but I don't have the pattern. So I found somebody that had the table runner pattern and um, I got it. So I now have the actual pattern, the Santa pattern for it. So that makes me really, really, really stinking happy to finally have the pattern for it. So at some point in time, I'm probably gonna, I might actually see if I can find this uh, ribbon pattern. If not, I'll probably just kind of make my own, figure out something and make it, make the table runner to go with it. So I'll have the bell pull and the table runner. But um, I do have the pattern now. <clears throat> um, really, I'm working mainly on the, um, I think I've got most of the stitching done. Yeah, I did finish the stitching and I think I did finish the back stitching as well on him. He looks really cute, really cute. So I have to finish the beading and stuff on him. Um, so he's probably going to be another whip that I hope to knock out. So I'm hoping to have three whips by the end of the year. Three completed F, F um, finished objects. Um, but yeah, so that is my joy to the world. So, um, we have the Mirabilia Christmas Fairy. We have the, um, Lavender and Lace Free Christmas Angel. And then we have this Joy to the World, um, piece. If I can get this in here without too much further trouble. Um, it would be really great if I can have three finishes by the end of the year. And this will also finish one of my oldest whips. If I get this Joy to the World thing, I'm going to put this back in here before I lose it. So yeah, as you can see, I've had the, um, I've had the beads and stuff stashed in here for a while. There's all kinds of beads, bugle beads, whatnot, stashed in here for a while to finish. So, um, hopefully that'll be another one that I can finish up. Then we have the Winter Snow Owl by Blackberry Lane Designs. Um, some of you have probably seen this stitched. Um, and I am doing this on 32 count picture this plush picture this plus mirage 
it's the uh, the gray, the really pretty gray modeled. So I'm going to be stitching this up on Mirage. It calls for um, 32 Count Storm by Picture This Plus. Um, I went with Mirage. I just think it's going to be really pretty. So we have um, Picture This Plus or uh, the Winter Snow Owl. So we have the Winter Snow Owl. Let me put this up here too. Another one that I'm going to do, I just got the stuff for it like a week or two ago. You guys have seen it. It's the hands on design. Have a cool Yule. And I do have the Sulky threads to do it with Sulky. And I also have the chalkboard, um, the chalkboard fabric it calls for. So a project coming up. Um, this is probably going to be a new start and hopefully a finish. Um, if I can get one or two of the other whips done. Um, so cool Yule. Now the other thing that I've had in my stash for a little while, um, I've had this DMC Collector's Holiday Ornament Kit with the Santa. Um, I've had this box probably since it came out. But it has your floss and your finishing, some of your finishing stuff. It has um, backing fabric for it. Um, it has the pattern. Everything's in here that you need, including um, there's a lot of metallic floss, um, but yeah, so this is, this is a whole kit, this is a collector's edition kit, and I'm probably going to hopefully be, um, maybe starting this as well, and one of the little charms just fell out of the box, so yeah, there's that. Okay, sorry about the glare on that, the glare is really bad. All right. Another whip that I pulled out, this was a small little dimensions kit, the Gold Collection Petites. This is called the Sleigh Ride, um, designed by Randy Van Beck. It was a little kit. Um, I swapped out the Ada fabric in it for linen because um, back when I first started this, I wasn't gonna, um, I wasn't stitching on Ada anymore. But um, here's where I got how much, how far I've gotten so far. It is the house. This house right here is what I've stitched. So, that way. So, you can see that. This is the Gold Collection Petites. This is one of the things that I'm probably going to hopefully work on between now and Chris, the end of the year. Um, maybe not until January. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to use that out of the way for you. Whoops. So you have to bear with me while I, while I do and swap things out. I just kind of went through and got some of my um, some of my whips and um, whatnot together. Some fun projects I think it might be fun to work on this winter. One of the other kits I got, you remember this, I got this from Joann's a few weeks back. I'm actually going to be dyeing the floss, the uh, or dyeing the fabric, the same way that Carla being crafty dyes her fabric. Um, I have <laughs> I have my writ dye, my green writ dye, and I have my pickle jar, my empty pickle jar. So um, hopefully in like a week or so, I'll be ready to dig out the fabric from this, from this kit and... Um, just go ahead and dye it before I actually stitch it. 
I think that'll be a fun stitch though. Little red truck. Um, little red trucks, the li Christmas trucks isn't necessarily my aesthetic, but you know I could be convinced. We'll see. All right. And then I have this um, big kit. I don't remember where I got it, but I got it for $7. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby. It must have been Hobby Lobby. It's an Artiste brand, which is Hobby Lobby. They, um, as you know, last year they were doing, or earlier this year, they were also doing a huge clearance on a lot of their cross-stitch projects and cross-stitch kits. So this was a $27.99 kit I got for seven bucks. This is a uh, Christmas window. Doesn't really say who it's by. Christmas window. I'm going to go ahead and s scroll this out for you so you can kind of see. Christmas window. Um, this is actually a full coverage piece. I did take it out and look at it. Um, it did come with white Ada, but I am going to be stitching it on um, even weave. I got found some cream colored, colored even weave. I think this was just a piece that I got um, at Michael's or Joanne's in just their typical thing. Since it's full coverage, I really didn't want, I'm not going to dye it or anything like that. Um, so, yeah. But it is full coverage. Um, it came with all the floss. All the floss is on these neat little floss cards. Um, so I'm going to be using the floss that came with the kit um, because it is DMC, more or less. More or less, it's DMC, give or take. Maybe it's anchor. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to be using I'm going to be using the floss that came with the kit. Um, I tend sometimes I tend most times I tend to use the kit floss, um, unless of course you know it, they give me the exact DMC numbers. But um, then I'll use I'll use DMC. But usually I'll use the kit floss. I've never had a problem with using kit floss. Um, before so this is Christmas window this is probably going to be a new start um, I don't know if I'll start it before Christmas might be a Christmas day start I have no idea but these are just some of the things that I'm going to work on and then um, one of the other ones that I have that I've started already that um, I started several years back this was a Thomas Kincaid painter of light kit um, this is called holiday gathering I really like Thomas Kincaid. Um, he's one of my favorite artists. If I could own any of his original paintings, I would, but they're really, really expensive since he's now dead. So, it's the Painter of Light. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just a little bit for you. There you go. Holiday Gathering. And like I said, this is one that I had started. Um, I'm using linen. And I forget what kind of linen it is. It's just kind of like an off-white linen. But uh, holiday gathering. Let me see if I can get this the right way. So it goes this way. So. Let me go ahead and fold this over. It's on a very big piece of linen. So this is, this is what I've stitched so far. So you can see there's a couple of people down here on the porch of the house. A couple people on the porch of the house. Which means that I have stitched some of this area in here. I believe it's over here is where I've stitched. But porch of the house. People on the porch of the house. Holiday gathering. I may actually pull this out at some point in the next couple of weeks and work on this too, um, just to get um, just to get the mood and the feel of it. But yeah, all right. So you can see I've had I have a couple of new starts planned for the winter, a couple of whips um, that I need to get working on, um, and we shall see. 
yeah this one was a kit and again I swapped out I swapped out the Ada um, for a piece of linen I don't even remember what this is but it's linen and it's gonna be huge so and again this is the one where I'm using I've kitted up the floss that came in the kit um, you can see here like here's the um, the uh, like iridescent floss that came with the kit. I put all the kit flosses um, in floss away bags with the number on the kit um, on the legend that it, the color number on the legend that it is. I don't know that these are DMC floss numbers. I'd have to look at the pattern again. But yeah, all my kit floss is on in these bags. So this is actually kit floss that I'm using to stitch stitch this. So there's another whip of mine that I dug out to work on. Alright. And other than, oh, here's another piece I worked on this, or uh, picked out to start. This is a kit that I had picked up, I believe, last, uh, in, last year? Maybe earlier this year. I don't know. It's Glendon Place, Someone We Love because someone we love is in heaven there's a little bit of heaven in our home and I do have the um, fabric and the dinky dyes uh, satin silk floss for it I got the dinky dyes silk floss uh, kit someone we love so there's that and I also picked up the um, oh it also came with the beads and um, I think it's a uh, Sylvan Sullivan's floss, but it came with a bead pack, and I am I will be stitching this on. Picture this plus pewter. So here is the piece of pewter for it. It's gonna be really pretty. These colors are going to be really pretty. You, you just can't, you just can't see how pretty these floss colors are going to be on here. But uh, I got the Dinky Dyes floss for it, so um, that'll be a probably a whip coming up. I think I'm going to hold off on this one though until January. So you've seen some whips, you've seen some stuff, um, you've seen some new stuff, and you've seen some plans and some stuff I have for the rest of the year and into early 2020. Um, I will get into some of my official 2020 plans later on um, in another video and uh, that's about all I have for you. So I just kind of wanted to say I hope you guys are having a great December so far. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff planned. We still have to do shopping, we still have to do cookie making, we still have to do all kinds of stuff. Bell Choir at church is really busy this year. Um, we have a performance coming up on Sunday, a performance coming up on the 22nd, and a performance coming up on Christmas Eve. So we have a lot of stuff going on. I'm not in my church's um, the theatrical pr production this year um, because of my trip to California and everything like that, but that's coming up on Saturday the 14th. If you're local to Columbus, um, look up Maple Grove United Methodist Church and get information about the um, production, the Christmas production. It's next Saturday the 14th at 7.30 p.m. Admission is $5. So um, look up that. It should be a good time. I'm hoping to go. And um, other than that, we really don't have a whole lot going on. So uh, mom's settling in. Everything's going pretty well. I think we're doing all right. And uh, mom's <coughs> over there diamond painting away. Um, so anyway that's all I have for you tonight uh, just keep on keeping on that's all we can do and um, we'll talk to you soon I don't know when my next video will be out hopefully in a, another week or two and I'll be able to show you hopefully another couple of finishes so anyway take care um, and we'll see you next time alright bye now so hi everybody this is Tina Frazier again it is about 11 55 p.m. on Thursday December 5th and or December 5th one, two, three, four, five, December 5th. And um, I come to you with a little bit of an uh, extra addition to my video um, that I recorded earlier tonight. I received in the mail today my newest issue of the World of Cross Stitching Magazine. This is 
uh, issue 286, November 2019. Here's the cover. I went through the magazine um, a little bit tonight after I recorded my first video, and there's quite a few things in here. I'll probably end up stitching at some point, because there's a lot of really cool things in here. Um, one of the things that I thought was really cute were these gnome bookmarks. Um, really cute. I'm going to show you those again. The gnome bookmarks. They're really cute. Um, another really cute thing that was in here. Um, do, 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 do. Thumb through this. Bear with me just a minute. Didn't have a time to flag it before I get on, on here. Um, warm and fuzzy. These are little um, winter animals that are done with fuzzy floss. <clears throat> so these ones call for, let me get to the thing, these ones call for Madeira Lana. Um, which I believe is, um, it's wool. So it calls for Madeira Lana. There's a list of colors, several different colors of Madeira Lana. But it's a uh, wool, wool floss. Those are really cute. The penguins especially cute. And you use a wire brush. There it shows using a wire brush to fluff up the floss. Um, one of the things that's really interesting about this issue is they have um, world festivities in cross stitch. There's a lot of different, um, uh, a different um, secular kind of holidays. There's Hanukkah, Thanksgiving, Happy Diwali, Hogmanay, Day of the Dead, Bonfire Night, Rosh Hashanah, God Yule. Um, there is uh, Happy St. Andrew's Day. Um, Gong Shi, I don't know, I can't pronounce that, but it's the Chinese New Year. Happy St. George's Day, Happy St. David's Day, um, the 5th of November, which is Bonfire Day, um, Hanukkah, Happy New Year. There's a Buddha in here, there's Stonehenge. Good Yule, Australia Day, um, 4th of July, a Day of the Dead, um, just all kinds of stuff. This one is really cute. I'm probably going to end up doing this. This is the gingerbread uh, advent calendar. It's a little gingerbread town. And I'll probably end up stitching that at some point because that is just really cute. Do, 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 do. This is adorable. This is Hug in a Mug. I originally thought this was a Doreen Jones, because it kind of looks like them. But it's not. It's by uh, Sose and Dennis Saitano. Um, but it's warm and cozy. That is so adorable. And I'll probably end up stitching that, too. Sorry, the camera is bouncy. I, uh, I bumped my tray. Let's see. Then we have Let's Get Spruced Up. Uh, six different Christmas trees. Stylized Christmas trees. I think these are really cute. Might end up stitching those. At least a couple of them. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. <laughs> and this is uh, Highland Cows. The Highland Cows are really cute. And that's about it for um, the Christmas patterns that are in here. A uh, nice preview. It's coming next month. There's some uh, uh, really pretty Christmas stuff in there. And the free gift today was this Taddy Teddy calendar, September 2019 to December 2020. Taddy Teddy calendar. And you get these six cross-stitch patterns in here. They're really cute, you guys. So that is my issue of the world of cross-stitching. It's a UK magazine. But yeah, so the calendar is two months at a time, and you get a picture to go with it. It's really cute. So that is all the additional things I have, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.